Hello everyone and welcome back to Prison Architect. Now, um, I got a little carried away off camera. My plan was to rebuild the whole prison and just build what I needed, which I did. Um, I just built the kitchen, the canteen and everything. I didn't build the cell blocks. I didn't build the, uh, solitary, uh, or the parole room or the common room and I just went with the basics um, but once I got that done I started furnishing stuff and once I started furnishing stuff I uh, I finished furnishing stuff and then I started hiring staff and completing uh, grants and then I accepted some prisoners and the prisoners got here and I realized oh crap I was supposed to record this I haven't been recording <laughs> so um, I guess we'll just start from here uh, someone's already been caught with uh, something uh, contraband uh, who do we got here? We've got Simon Aqu Aquachime. Aquachime? I don't know. Um, he is in for a total of 25 years for aggravated burglary, uh, five years for perjury, and another nine years for burglary. He served three years out of 39 years so he's gonna be in prison for a while um, he's 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 gonna be here for a while um, he's got a mother who's 51 and a father who is 53 okay who do we got here Hassam Hassam Al-Shayeb al, -Shayeb. al -Shayeb. what what kind of nickname is that your first and last name smashed together what kind of what <laughs> okay, so this guy, he's minimum security. Um, he got 13 years for handling stolen goods. That's... That's a lot. Um, he's got an ex-wife, a daughter, another daughter, and his mother, who is 60. Um, okay, so... We've got him. Okay. Who do we got here? We have Dan Wolven. Wol Wolven? I don't know how to pronounce these names. Uh, violent Disorder, he's gotten three years for. Um, so he's a normal security prisoner. Uh, he's served. Wait. Violent Disorder. Never. Okay, never mind. I'm not going to dive too deep into this. Um, another minimum security. Oh, he's only 18. He got 29 years. 29 years for insider trading, false accounting, forgery, and money laundering. So he's not a violent criminal, which is good, I guess, but he's he's still in jail at 18. Not in jail, in prison. This is a prison. At 18 years old. Oof. Man. He's got a girlfriend. And a mother and a father. This, oh man. You done goofed, boy. You done goofed. Okay, Gareth Waymark. Uh, he's got eight years, which he has served 3.3 .3 of. Uh, violent disorder, assault. Ooh, he's, uh. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna move him up to maximum security because he's very he's he's got a violent history <laughs> um, a very violent history uh, who else do we have here we have Richard Wyatt uh, he's gotten 20 years for trafficking and perjury okay not too bad not too bad and we have why does he have a different face than everybody what David Tag Wolf Cahill. 
He got two years for DUI. Okay. Wait. However, fed up with work and in a fit of rage, he put on a wolf costume and robbed three pharmacies in one night. So he's a furry that likes to rob pharmacies. Okay. Okay. We don't judge here. We don't judge in this prison. Um, he was later captured when police observed him digging holes in a neighbor's yard. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, and he's only 19. Wow. Man. And he has an ex-wife. He's already... He's he's 19 years old, and he's already gotten married and divorced. Oh, man. Okay. Okay, we're not going to judge people here. Uh, Matt Coombs. Uh, he got 10 years for multiple crimes, including robbery and perjury. So, oh, he's already served a lot of time for other stuff. Manslaughter. They got 13 years for manslaughter. Uh, some violent disorder. Uh, criminal damage, more violent disorder. Okay. Um. Okay, so we've got we've got a little bit of background on all of our prisoners. Let's get let's get back to the back to the. Uh, Oh, back to the action. Uh, we've still got some workers down here installing pipes uh, so we can get some water down here to our sinks. And I have outfitted the schedule uh, to my liking. It's free time right now. Then we'll go to lock up for two hours. They'll eat, they'll go to the yard, and then a lot of lock up. And then they'll go eat again, and then lock up and sleep for seven hours. Um, I think, I think that's a pretty good schedule. And we've got six guards on duty. And we need to hire an accountant. We have researched finance, so we can now get an accountant and finish that grant. Um, why can I hire more than one accountant? Do I need more than one accountant? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Well, we're doing good so far. We've got thirteen thousand um, dollars. I think the first thing I probably need to build is the cell block for sure. Uh, I've put the shower down here where I said I was going to put the guards' barracks because my pre-planned shower is all the way up here through that whole cell block. And I don't want to build that right yet. Um, we're gonna go to the warden. We're gonna research some stuff. Uh, let's see, what do we need? We need maintenance. Kind of need maintenance. Uh, don't really need legal or health yet, or psychology. Let's go with maintenance first, uh, so we can get some janitors in here. Uh, groundskeeping. Uh, lovely. Uh, now what? We have more prisoners than we can hold because I've put them all in a holding cell, which is okay. For now, at least. Let's see. We have. What is this? Ingredients. There's just some bacon. Just some bacon in the middle of the floor. What are you doing? What, are you, what, what is your name? What is your name? It doesn't, you, I, I don't know your name. What's your name? I'm gonna call you, uh, uh, what can I call you? You look like a Jeffrey. I'm gonna call you Jeffrey. Jeffrey, what the fuck are you doing dropping bacon in the middle of the kitchen floor? Come on, man. That's a slipping hazard, and it's pretty disgusting. You better not be serving that. Like, serious. That is seriously gross. Come on, man. Um. What are you doing here? This prisoner requires solitary confinement, but no solitary cells are available. Um. Well, I can't really make solitary confinement yet. Uh. 
I mean... Can I... He doesn't need to go to solitary, he's fine. We just found a screwdriver. Jeez. Uh, and he's jamming the door open. Come on. Okay. Um... Now we need to feed all the prisoners. We've got a massive kitchen down here and not very much equipment because we don't have very many prisoners and we don't need that much food. So we're staying kind of uh, kind of empty in the kitchen for now. We will eventually fill it up with all kinds of cooking stuff, expand this canteen out, maybe add another. No, we probably don't need another kitchen. Um, so, that's, that's going. That's good. How much do foundations cost? Turn auto lights off. Cause fuck you. I left, I left auto lights on accidentally whenever I was, uh, whenever I was building for the second time. Uh, whoops. <laughs> okay, let's see if we have enough money to put foundations up here and get this cell block started okay not really well hmm well we can move the shower up there and empty out this room and uh, get some cells down we need a large jail door. I'm gonna put a large jail door right here so they can get in and out of the cell block but if I need to do a lockdown I can I can I can lock it down you know you know yeah um, why are these not getting water? Do these pipes need to be going? Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, what is this? <laughs> Why is it? <laughs> the bacon's still just in the floor. Just Jeffrey just doesn't give a single fuck. No fucks were given by Jeffrey. Um, what can I name this cook? Ah, uh, he's got a sweet mustache. Uh, let's see. He looks like uh. Hmm. James. Your name will be James. And your name will be Jeffrey. And we'll have Jeffrey and James in the kitchen banging out some awesome food for the prisoners. So they can eat this disgusting grub that we serve in the prison. Intake. We're just going to go to fill capacity instead of, uh, instead of, you know, taking all the available prisoners. Because right now I have capacity for zero prisoners, but I still have prisoners because I have a holding cell, so it's, it's okay. Um, let's get a grant for raise your prisoner capacity to 15. That should be easy. How many cells do I have here? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Yeah. Let's get that grant because that's a lot of money that we can use for the stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey. It's going up. Hell yeah. Now, foundations. Let's put some... We're building here, and let's demolish these walls because they're there and I don't want them there. Why is that just fence there? I want wall there. Brick wall. Build brick wall there. Like brick wall. Brick. Brick wall. There we go. Since someone does need solitary confinement, we are going to... Put some foundations down here. And build some solitary cells. 
Uh, let's demolish this wall here, right? Um, yeah, demolish all this wall here. Okay. Now it's yard time. Everyone's reluctant to go outside. They just, they just, they just don't want to go. They're sitting here, right next to the door, and they, they just. They just don't care. They don't want to go run around the yard or do anything. Fine. Don't do anything. See if I care. You can be bored if you want to. It's your decision, not mine. So let's build this cellbox. Okay. 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 Okay, so they are demolishing this wall up here, uh, finishing up these foundations. Lovely, jubbly. Don't, just, don't demolish that wall. Just demolish this. Okay. Now, what do we have? Okay. He's he's getting you know, he's getting out there in the yard. He's he's going. Did I just try to build a wall? Close that. Uh, Coombs is uh, getting out there, running around the yard a little bit, getting his daily exercise in. Good for him. Good for him, exercising. Now, let's see. Waymark and Cahill just, they just don't want to go exercise. They're just over here talking, plotting their escape, probably. But they're not going to escape because this prison is top notch. I'm not getting out of this place. Um, oh, he's Wyatt's freaking out a little bit. Um, Richard, Richard, you okay, buddy? Yeah, he's fine. Just had a little seizure there, but we don't have a medical ward, so we'll just have to get over it. Um, did I? I told them to demolish this wall, right? Yes. Okay. There's still bacon left on the floor. Jeffrey and James. What are you what are you doing, guys? They're just ignoring the bacon on the floor. Come on, man. Why you gotta be like that? Um Okay. We are going to now put toilets in these cells. We're gonna put the toilets. We'll put, mm, put the toilet here. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 16. That'll raise up my uh, prisoner capacity to 15, so I can get an extra $20,000. We're going to put beds in all of these. Oh, and I'm out of money. Awesome. Awesome. I'm out of money. Are there any more, uh, any more of these that we can take out? Uh, we're unlocking maintenance and cleaning and groundskeeping. Are a foreman, two janitors, and a gardener. Oh, that's not going to be enough money, is it? We're going to do it. This might be a bad idea, but we're doing it. Minus fourteen dollars cash flow. But how am I getting minus fourteen dollars cash flow? That's strange. Then we're going to put beds here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we have beds in those cells. Now we need jail, jail, jail doors. We need jail doors. 
Um, boom, 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 boom. Now we need to run some pipes up here. We're gonna take the pipe down this way, like so, and then up this way, like so, and then into the cells, like so. Okay, so we have um, all of this being installed, raising our prisoner capacity to 15 so we can get 20,000 extra dollars. Um, but I need to put lights in these cells as well because I turn auto lighting off. Okay. Um, now that's all going in. We are going to designate these as cells while that's happening. And those are cells. So that is going to be enough cells to raise our prisoner capacity to 15 then we can go let's see what how is our bureaucracy doing with oh we've unlocked maintenance okay so we need to unlock cleaning groundskeeping so let's go with cleaning first um, because that's that's more important for me Im more important to me and we need an office for our foreman. I think I'm just gonna give him this. Can I give, is that big enough? That's not big enough, is it? Uh, no, that's only three. Um, hmm. So we could put the, no, that's gonna be. Okay, so he's gonna have a cool office. Nice large office. And we're gonna put a door here. Normal staff door. Right to the So that the foreman can get in. We're gonna make a solitary thing down here. Just make a couple of these. Oh, and I don't have enough money. Nice. Okay. This sucks. Well, as soon as this gets built, it'll... Uh, let's lock this open so they can get in and out as they please. Um, shit. Cords! Fucking cords. Um, as soon as this gets done, I will get... Uh, twenty thousand dollars so that'll be pretty awesome uh, can I lock this open god I'm gonna have to lock all these fucking jail doors open and then I'm gonna have to close them all again why did I put the jail doors in uh, like that Lock these open. Lock them open. Okay. This will... Oh, there are already prisoners sleeping in there. What? Well, <laughs> we've already got some prisoners in their cells up here. Which is... Mm, I don't like that. But... Mm. Okay. Okay, they're just gonna be there. Surely they won't cause any harm. They'll be fine, right? Yeah, sure. Uh, we still got a person awaiting solitary. 
There are more jail doors to lock open. There's just a workman carrying a toilet through. Oh, and he just walked straight through that serving table. Just carrying a toilet through the uh, kitchen and the canteen. You know, normal, normal day at the office where workers care. <laughs> I just thought of something really funny whenever he was carrying the uh, toilet like this. I just imagine someone taking a toilet and walking up to this, taking the toilet, just smashing it through the bar, and then jumping through after it, picking it back up, and just carry it on. <laughs> That's what I imagine when I see them walk through there with the toilet. Oh, that is funny. Oh, man. <laughs> Just, ah, bam! Just breaks the toilet. <laughs> Why am I getting negative cash flow? Why am I having negative $14 a day? What's going on here? Uh, staff, I think we can get rid of one of our guards. Cause I need some positive cash flow. Uh, we got some workers up here. We got, yeah. We need plenty of workers. Do they have enough food to eat? Yeah, they've got enough food to eat. Get your food, Cahill. Better not be causing any problems. You hear me? Okay. Does Cahill and Wyatt like have something going on there. I'm watching you two. I am watching you. <laughs> Look at his eyes. Just staring back at me. He's just like... Eating his food. Without opening his mouth. Just... <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Got some dirty food trays. See, they don't want the bacon. Because freaking... Jeffrey and Jeffrey and James are just leaving the bacon on the floor. See, look at this. Look at this. A box full of bacon, just on the floor. You know, next to the garbage cans. That's why nobody's eating the bacon. No one wants it. Okay, we have. Why is one prisoner unable to be assigned to a cell? Oh, because he's awaiting solitary. Of course. I'm still getting negative $11 cash flow. What? What? Why? So... I guess I'm faced with the dilemma again. Uh, am I going to have enough money to squeeze by, uh, with pennies to spare? Uh, find out next episode. <laughs> um, well, I guess, man, I've just, oh man, this is not looking good. This is not looking good at all. I was, I was excited about this. This prison was looking great for a minute. And then it just all went to shit. Alright, I think I'm going to leave this episode off here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, there's a like button somewhere down there. Uh, you can subscribe right up here. And you can watch one of my past videos right up here. So, thank you guys for watching. I have been the Flaming Gamer. And you guys have been awesome. Bye bye Can someone get Aquachem a cell, please? Thank you.